What's going on, Phil? Oh, hey, Will. What's going on? But how you doing? Man, I'm I'm doing really good. I guess it's uh, March 25th, and we just found our first snake. That's a good thing, right? That is correct. Uh, I think it is. Uh, we had a really good weekend last weekend, and uh, we're just getting started today. Uh, found this handsome plain belly water snake uh, moving around here. I guess it's well, gosh, by now it's early in the afternoon. Nice snake, uh, as most water snakes, very cooperative for photographs. I think I'm about finished here. Uh, How long do you say that snake is? I'll tell you what, let's take a closer look at it here, Will. Yeah, uh, typical of this uh, genus of snakes, very docile, very laid back animals, as you can see. Uh, gosh, I don't know, I'm going to say probably. Uh, I would say probably 30 inches or longer. Yeah. Yeah, you know, probably somewhere around that. This right here appears to be a, an intergradient plain belly water snake. Um, this area here has an intergrade. It's copper belly times yellow belly water snake. Well, Phil, I've heard a lot of people uh, say these water snakes have a bad reputation for being nasty and biting, but man, where's that coming from? Well, I'm not real clear. It seems that uh, we find a lot of water snakes, and they seem to be among the most docile animals we come across. In fact, I'm really kind of surprised that there's not a greater interest in herpetoculture with these snakes. Very tractable animals. Now, uh, here in this area, out here in the, the JP, it does seem like that this is one of the m more common snakes that we come across. Would you agree with that? I would totally agree. I would say definitely this is the the most common water snake that we come across. Man, all of a sudden the photo ops are getting better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, uh, let's go release this snake and move on and maybe find some more. What do you say? That sounds like a plan. All right, man. <laughs> 